All right, what's going on, Fox family? Here with another break, another achievement break. If you saw my previous set booster box for the Adventures in Forgotten Realms, you are familiar with the achievement break. I'm going to do it a little bit differently today with the, with the bundle, because obviously with the bundle you only get 10 packs, and there's not as much you know, chances to get other things. So I actually just picked achievements for this one. I got... We're gonna go for four class cards. So those come in uncommons and rares. One of those cool module lands. And the last one, six bard cards. And just so you know, this can be bard in the name or bard in the creature type. So we're gonna go with some simpler ones here, or at least I think they are. Um, maybe not as simple as the dragons one that I had in the actual set booster box. But either way, we'll open this up. I'll go over the goodies that you get in these, uh, the bundles here. This one's a little bit unique and I'll show you why. All right. So when you get the bundle, you of course, the cool thing in here is you get these, these uh, bigger dungeon cards. So this is pretty sweet. I'm just gonna cut that open. So if you wanna see those here, Dungeon of the Mad Mage, Lost Mine of Fandelver, and Tomb of Annihilation. So those are pretty sweet. Um, I know some people that are getting the bundles just for those. Um, of course you got your little case, the case, one of those I use for drawing the achievements. This you can always, oh you get a little packet inside here. Bark in a new quest, or as my friends say, quest. And Let's see, where does this open? It's up down here and... So, you got this really cool insert right here. Some people collect those, I do not. So if you want that, let me know. Other than that, you go in here, you got your, your 10 packs, which we'll look for those achievements in there. And let's see, you also got your land pack Right there were just the 20 basics, and then you got the pack here with the treasure chest promo, as well as the foil basic lands. So if you like those, pick this up. And then, I think this is really cool. They got the planeswalker symbol there, and the dragon. So without further ado, let's get started on these packs, see if this is a worthwhile bundle, at least based on achievements. Um, of course, value, everybody will know if it's good on value. If we get like a Tia Mad, I think it's pretty much already close to worth it. So, got to make sure I pay attention to the achievements we got over here. Bird, equipment, fairy. It's not bard right now. Our first rare right here is Orcus, Prince of the Undeath. So... That does not apply to any of ours. Let me just double check here. Yeah, these achievements, they're a little different. Um, I haven't seen anybody doing them, so hopefully I'm the first person you've come across that have actually done these achievement style. And yeah, if you got any insight on how to make these better, you know, of course, reach out to me, let me know. Because we're always looking for ways, I think, as we start a new channel, especially, you know, um, trying to differentiate ourselves from other people and stand out here. So we got Oswald Fiddlebender. All right, and we got a dungeon card in the back, but you know what, we got a bigger version of that now. So two in, uh, nothing yet for the achievements. I'm not seeing any bard cards or anything else we're looking for, class cards. Duh. Let's see. Okay, class cards. So we got the Warlock class here. Dragon and Long Rest. I was actually looking for that. I got a X Spells Hydra deck. So that was one of the cards that I definitely wanted. I should actually move these up here so you guys can see them. Another class card, Barbarian, 
class. Another class card, wizard class. Wow, we're already close to finishing that one. Zorn, planner ally. Zorn. I think this is just a funky looking card. That's just crazy. Yeah, treasures. I, I think one of the cards, I think, uh, Revel and Riches. I just see that card going up so much now with all these treasure cards coming out. And I spoiled a little bit of craziness in the back there. Um, just because, you know, there's there, when it first came out, there wasn't that many treasures. But now there seems to be a lot more treasure cards. And getting 10 treasures by the end of turn doesn't seem to be as hard as it might have been back in the day. All right, Meteor Swarm, and then we got the Black Dragon, which is interesting, because I got that in my set box as well. Now, where are all these bards? I gotta make sure I'm not missing one. Hmm. So no module lands, no bards. And also for redemption, maybe we can get that treasure vault. Ooh, Bard right there. Okay. So Inspiring Bard. Battle Cry. Got the White Dragon and Triumphant Adventurer. So we've got two of the Borderless Dragons. One Bard card so far, right? I know. Um, but no mythic so far either. So we only got, well, we got four packs left over here. Now these things go pretty fast, and I just realized that I gotta go find the dice. I never showed off the dice. So I can't forget that. Shape, another dragon. Volo, Guide to the Monsters. All right, nothing in there. So where is this dice? All right. So I forgot the dice. I think I forgot the dice when I did the Modern Horizons one. So this is the dice here. It's got kind of an orangish red color to it. I love personally collecting these dice. Um, there's the symbol right there um, for the set symbol. I just think that those things are so cool. So. I'm always glad to pick up at least one bundle per set. And I also, I like using these as the background without having this terrible window. So something to cover it up. All right, I remember to look for those bards. Like right there, boom, bard. Two bards down. All right. Eric in Wizards Spellbook. All right. We are not getting as many, as many hits as I thought. I thought, you know, this would be pretty easy to get all three of these, but it doesn't seem to be the case. So, Druid class. We're at four of those. Oh. What? Oh my gosh. All right. There we go. We got a foil Tiamat and a Demolic. So we aren't hitting the achievements, but the box just pretty much paid for itself with the bundle right there. A foil Tiamat, my friend, is going to be ecstatic to see that I pulled another one of these because I took the first one. So he'll be able to get a Tiamat now. And of course, Demolic is a good hit as well. So that right there. If you're just looking at value-wise, we pretty much got our money back, um, especially with the extra goodies you get in the bundle. So bundles usually aren't that good. So I'm gonna take that. But let's see how close we do get with the achievements. Very in. Mind Flare. All right. So based on what I'm seeing here, we didn't hit <laughs> A single achievement we went over three so I don't know I didn't see any other bards and it you know I would have had to miss a couple um, class cards we were oh wait no what am I 
I thought I wrote down six for the class cards. I take it back. We did get one of the achievements. We got the four class cards. So we'll go through them here. We got, I believe, all in commons. Yeah. So we got the Druid class, Wizard class, Barbarian class, and Warlock class. So we did get the class card achievement. Um, we did not get the module land, and we did not get six of the bard cards. But who really cares? Because we did get a Demolic and a Foil Tiamat. So overall, I'm going to say that's a good bundle, and I love the art, I love the dice. You know, if you're not looking to get too much of this set, I'd say go out there and get a bundle. Thanks again for watching Fox Breaks Achievement Style opening here, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Thank you.